Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my uh, get unready routine with you guys. I don't think I've ever done a video like this on my channel. I've done some get ready with me's, but I've never done a get unready with me. I've done a nighttime skincare routine, which I guess is kind of similar, but I wanted to share with you kind of my current, um, I guess you could say my current nighttime skincare routine. It's showing you how I remove my makeup, kind of the steps that I do every night to kind of get unready. So I was gonna film this in my bathroom, but the echo in there, you guys, is so bad. So I did film myself actually doing the products in the steps that I do them in my bathroom, but I wanted to film this video in my makeup room here so I could just, you know, just so that the audio didn't sound terrible and I could share with you a bit more about each product as I go through it. So the first product, the first step that I do when I'm getting unready for the night is removing my makeup. And the cleanser that I've been using lately is the Tula um, Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I've been using this for a while. I wanna say I'm halfway done with it and it's a big, big uh, tube of it. I really like it. I've been using it for a couple months. It's a pretty gentle cleanser. I don't find that it is harsh at all. It doesn't dry my skin out. I apply this directly on makeup and I find that it removes pretty much all my makeup. I do have to go in with a uh, makeup remover afterwards. So lately I've been using Glossier. What is this product called? It's called the Glossier Milky Oil Waterproof Makeup Remover. And as you can tell, I just started using it. Really, I like Clinique's Take the Day Off makeup remover. I like L'Oreal has a micellar water that I really like. Anything light that, and I will use this to just go around the eyes and get off the eye makeup underneath my eyes. I will get off my brow makeup because sometimes I don't really cleanse that area real well because I have lash extensions. And then I'll use this to remove any eye makeup that is on my lids. Um, again, this is one that I use, but I use many, many others. It's just the most current one that I'm using. Sometimes I'll put this on like a Q-tip and I'll really get right there on my uh, lash line. Because I have these lash extensions, I can't really scrub my eyes like someone without lash extensions can typically do. So I like this extra step because it just ensures that I clean off all the makeup around the eye area. The next I apply my eye cream and the eye cream that I've recently been using is the Hyaluronic um, Trip Peptide Gel Cream for Eyes by Strivectin. This video is in partnership with Ship with Strivectin. Um, it's kind of like a jelly eye cream. It's got a really interesting consistency. I've been using this for about a month now um, and I really like it. It's a lighter weight eye cream than um, some other eye creams I've used in the past. So it's good for day or night. It's it's really got this very interesting texture to it, you guys. It's kind of like bouncy. It's I like that it's not a straight up gel eye cream. There's like a creamy um, consistency to it, almost like a lotion-y consistency. It's like a lotion and a gel hybrid mixed together. Um, I like to keep this in my skincare fridge. I love keeping any products that I apply on my eyes in my skincare fridge because it just helps. That cooling sensation will help with puffiness. It just feels good, to be honest. Um, so I'll apply this. And I like to use um, the Beauty Bio Roller just to kind of really work it underneath the eyes. I like to use this in the mornings too because it helps take away any puffiness. And I'm someone that gets a lot of puffiness in the face. If I'm dehydrated, if I don't get enough sleep, I wake up and I just have like these ugh, under eye bags. <laughs> My old, I had an old friend that used to call them her Chanel bags. She's got Chanel bags underneath her eyes is what she would say. So funny. And then what I've been doing, I do this a couple of nights a week. I don't do this every single night, but I've been applying a hydrating mask to just kind of restore hydration into the skin. I recently got back from traveling last week and man, my skin just took a beat. And my skin always takes a beating when I travel. Um, and then I came back and got sick. So on top of that, it was just no bueno. But I've really, really been loving this mask. It's the Cloudberry Moisture Mask from Strivectin. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. So anytime I see hyaluronic acid, that tells me right there, it's gonna help retain moisture. Hyaluronic acid is like a moisture like magnet, right? It just attracts all the moisture into your skin. Um, it's got Cloudberry, Prickly Pear, and Hyaluronic Acid. This is what it looks like. It's like a orangey. It's like an orange cream. Uh, so I just layer a pretty generous layer on the face of this and I let it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes. Sometimes I will go in and I will do my white strips, my teeth whitening during the same time. Um, I like to kind of use that time to do something else that needs to be done that's part of my routine. But I really love this. I, I don't use this every single night. I would say my goal is to get this in about three nights and I have noticed a huge difference in the um, hydration of my skin. My, my skin is just has not been dry or 
it hasn't been, um, it hasn't, they haven't had any flaky issues with my skin. Uh, it really helps prime my skin for foundation and makeup the next day. So after about 15 minutes, I'll remove that and I'll take my uh, muslin cloth by Colleen Rothschild. This one is actually the one I just used. It's got, still got it in there and I'll get this soaked with warm water, squeeze it all out and I'll just wipe off all of that product. I don't, you can rinse it off with cold water. I don't know. I like to use warm water and wipe it off with this. Then I'll go in and I will use my P50 lotion, my uh, balancing exfoliator. I'll put this on like a cotton swab and I like to press it into the skin. I don't wipe. I try not to wipe. Sometimes I get impatient. I'm just like, oh, let's go. <laughs> but you're really supposed to press it into the skin. I really focus it in the center of my skin here on my neck and on my chest. Magic in a bottle, you guys. Magic in a bottle. I have said that over and over and I stand by that. It's so, so good. Um, and then next I will go in. I'll let that kind of let my skin kind of dry for a few minutes and then I'll go and apply my night cream. And the one that I've been using as of recent is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Um, I really like the, I, so I tried the Elemis Cleansing Balm a while back and I loved it. Very luxurious. Um, but that was the only product of theirs that I tried. This is such a great night cream, you guys. It's, it's so like, oh, it just, it's rich, it's creamy, uh, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't make the skin feel sticky. Um, it just feels darn good. It feels so, so good. I'll apply this and I'll actually apply this under the eyes because you can always go back and apply your eye cream after you've done the mask and removed it. But I find that my eye cream has enough time to absorb underneath my eyes while my mask is on. So if I feel like I want a little bit more hydration or moisture under my eyes, I'll just add a little bit of this to it up. I'll also apply this on my lips because the lips can be really dry. So I try and remember to apply my skincare on my lips unless I have my sleeping mask um, by Laneige. Is that how you say it? Uh, and then I'll put that on too. And that is it, you guys. That is my nighttime skincare routine. I feel like it's pretty pared down and, and simple. Um, without the mask time, you're looking at about five minutes. When you add the mask, obviously it's going to take about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, some moisture masks you can sleep in, but with this one, because it's colored and it's got that orange tint to it, you definitely want to remove it. Uh, but I have noticed such a difference in my skin by using a moisturizing mask like this, you guys, especially if you're using products that are exfoliate the skin, like the P50 lotion, uh, Retin-A, things like that, acids. Um, I mean, they can do great things for your skin. Skin, brighten the skin, uh, help exfoliate it, take off that dead surface of skin scales, make, give you glowing skin. But a side effect is it can make your skin dry. So if you're finding that regular moisturizer isn't cutting it, add a moisture mask in. It really, really makes a difference. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All your questions, comments, all that good stuff, leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>